Hi, I'm Jared Hyman, an assistant professor of chemistry at Elon University. Today, we'll be discussing titrations. In part one of this video series, we discuss the proper technique for assembling, reading, and using a burette. In this video, we take it a step further and determine the concentration of an unknown solution of acid by titrating with a base of known concentration. All titrations begin with a balanced chemical equation. In our case, one mole of sulfuric acid is neutralized with two moles of sodium hydroxide, our base. Phenolphthalein is the optimal indicator for this reaction. It is colorless in acidic solution and bright pink in basic solution. Typically, titrations are performed in triplicate. Use the average volume of the titrant required to reach the endpoint for any calculations. Perform an estimate titration. Record your final volume, subtract your initial volume, and determine your number of added milliliters of base. In our reaction, we use the standardized 0.1002 molar solution of sodium hydroxide. Knowing now that it takes 19.47 milliliters, we can calculate the number of moles of sodium hydroxide it took to neutralize our 10 milliliters of sulfuric acid. Now that we've calculated the number of moles of sodium hydroxide, we can recall from our balanced equation that for every two moles of sodium hydroxide, one mole of sulfuric acid is neutralized. Therefore, we can calculate the number of moles of sulfuric acid. The titration requires 10 milliliters of sulfuric acid. Convert that to liters and divide it into the calculated number of moles. For this trial, the concentration of sulfuric acid is 0 0.09755 molar. Carolina has everything you need for your chemistry lab. Visit us at carolinachemistry.com to see our titration kits for chemistry.